guys welcome back to my channel if you are new on my channel you're very very much welcome my name is Arnold I'm so happy and delighted to have you on my channel feel free to pick up the subscribe button down here is the red button that says subscribe and also there's a notification bell icon beside the subscribe button click on that so you get notification whenever I upload a new video straight to your phone <laughs> so guys today I'm going to show you how I make my beans this beans recipe might be weird but it is very 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 delicious it's just my own way of making my beans i'm going to be showing you my method of cooking these beans in a very delicious way it's a lazy day cooking when you're lazy you can make these beans because you don't have to start blending doing all of those work because it's something very fast that you can do on days that you're lazy you don't feel like cooking this is going to help you so guys let's get to the kitchen and i'll see you guys in my next video bye so this is the beans i'm going to be using for this recipe and now i'm just pouring the beans into the hot water i'm going to cover it and let it boil for some minutes so these are the things i'm going to be using for this recipe i have my red big crayfish the small small crayfish and i have my black smoked fish yeah that is catfish yeah smoked catfish I have that in there and I'm going to be using onion that is just one old big onion and I have my plantain here you can use two plantain depending on the quantity of your beans and I also have salt and palm oil so now I am back to my beans after about 30 minutes you can see how dirty the water is so I'm just going to rinse and sieve out the water so this process is not actually necessary if you are using red beans but because of the news we are hearing all about about using pesticide you know for preserving beans that we heard in nigeria that is happening so even if you are using a red beans i will still advise you to go through this process so you can be sure that your beans is safe or your beans is edible so right now i'm just pouring out the dirty water So what I'm doing here is that I'm just rinsing out all the leftover of that water or of, of that date. I'm just trying to rinse everything out with cold water. I decided to change my pot because I feel like the black pot wouldn't be big enough to contain this base. So now I've transferred the beans to another pot. Now my beans is back to the stove and I'm just going to pour all the fish inside the beans. Now I'm going to pour half of my onion, not all the onions because we are still going to need some onion later. So I'm going to pour half of it in the beans. Now I'm adding my dried grounded chili to it. I'm adding hot water. You can decide to add cold water for, to make the process faster or the cooking faster. So I decided to add hot water. So now I'm just making sure everything is inside the water. So I'm just going to like cover it so that all the fish in the pot can do introduction, engagement, and then marry together, you know. <laughs> so now this is how the beans looks right now. It's been about less than an hour. So now the beans is not totally soft right now. Right now I'm going to add my plantain to it, the remaining onion, and then I'm going to add some salt and I'm going to add palm oil to it. So I didn't add palm oil earlier because the beans is not soft enough. So right now I'm going to add palm oil. I'm going to add more water to it then I mix everything together you can see that the water is like the same level with the beans because this beans is almost done so I'm just going to make sure everything is inside the water and then I'm going to cover it until 
the smell of a raw palm oil is totally gone like the palm oil is totally totally cooked yes so it's no longer smelling so what i'm doing here is that i am crushing all the plantain like i don't want to see any plantain in my beans i just like the taste like i just want to feel the taste that the plantain is there So right now what I'm doing is that I'm tasting it. You can see that you won't even notice that there's any plantain. So I'm only showing you the fish inside. You can see the crayfish, the blackfish and all that. So now I'm just frying in my dodo. <laughs> and this is the end result of my beans. I hope you guys like this video. You guys should try it and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!